Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So today we've had so many One Piece releases. We have lots of new exclusives that I haven't had a chance to talk about, as well as we have some upcoming exclusives updates. And I kind of want to recap all the other stuff that did drop this week in case you missed it because it's been an insane week. Now, as always, if you guys want to pre-order or pick up any of these new Funko Pops we're about to talk about, there are links down below in the description or a pinned comment. Now let's go ahead and do our question of the day, which is, do you have any Funko Pops in your collection that are really, really smart. And I'm gonna go with L here from Death Note. Let's kick things off with the new releases here. So we did have One Piece today. So check this out. The One Piece commons included Luffy there. We also had Zoro with his chase variation, a fantastic chase. Then we had Usopp with his rubber band of doom, Nami crying, and then Sanji with the hard eyes. All of these turned out amazing. I think they really nailed this East Blue Saga wave. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. I think personally some of the better ones in this set are definitely Nami, Sanji, and uh, the Zoro Chase, obviously. But in general, all of them are great. Now we also got a couple different exclusives that I haven't had a chance to talk with you guys about yet. So first up, we do have Buggy the Clown over at Chalice. Well, he's named Buggy the Genius Jester on this one. This is expected in November, December, currently available on their website for pre-order. So I do believe this is around the time where the Cross Guild is created a little bit after Wano. Definitely a fun looking pop. This is where also he stretches out his limbs there and he has that cheesy smile. Really nailed this one. It's just as great as the last one. But I am kind of curious, which one do you guys like more? The Hot Topic one or this new Chalice one? Now another pretty cool exclusive that Chalice got was General Frankie here. Now this one does have a glow chase variation there and it looks to be almost a full glow. Now unfortunately this one came with a lot of complaints here. A lot of people are like, why is it glowing over metallic? Which I do kind of agree, very interesting choice there. As well as it being a four inch pop over a six inch pop. Because basically, best way I can describe how I feel about this is that it looks like a lot of detail squished into a four inch pop. Plus, when you consider, look at this, we have all three of our Frankie Pops. We have the first four inch pop, which should be a six inch. Then we have Frenosuke from Wano, that is a six inch, and then now this General Frankie that's a four inch. And General Frankie's bigger than all of them. So it's just a really weird inconsistency with certain character molds that especially are huge in their shows. But at the very least, I can't deny that the detail isn't there on this General Frankie. It just needed to be a bigger pop. Let me know your thoughts on this Frankie though, and if you want to grab it or in a bundle, it is available on Chalice. Our final new exclusive for One Piece is Arlong, and this one actually does go in the East Blue Saga wave with the rest of the Straw Hats. This is also coming in November, December, and this will be an AA anime exclusive. So unfortunately, this one did not go live for pre-order just yet. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I'm assuming since it was like a Sunday release and Funko normally doesn't drop things on Sundays, they were specifically doing it because it was One Piece Day this weekend. So I guess more popularity in terms of sales, I suppose. But anyways, if it doesn't drop today or like later tonight, it's the most likely gonna drop tomorrow, so I will post when it does go live. So make sure to be following me on my Instagram and Twitter for those links. Now that pretty much covers all of the One Piece exclusives and commons we did get. Again, you can pre-order anything with the links down below. Now, we are expected to get at least one more exclusive. I've mentioned this multiple times, which is Kizuru here, our first Admiral. Not exactly sure when he is going to come, maybe sometime this coming week, so stay tuned on that. But I am very excited to see how this one turns out. Moving on to an upcoming release this coming week, we do have Art the Clown here over on the Funko Shop. This one is dropping tomorrow, Monday at 9.30 a.m. PST, and I don't believe this one will have a limit, so you can probably order up to 12 on them if you want to go after that chase. I do believe this is going to be one of the more popular pops, especially given so many people have been waiting for Art the Clown. Alrighty guys, so that covers all of the new releases and drops in the last day. Now I want to recap what happened earlier this week just in case you missed it. Starting off with Anakin Skywalker here. So this is Darth Vader's first appearance where he's standing on the droid when he's fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi. Definitely a cool little deluxe pop. Next up, we had a couple TV show pops from Yellowstone as well as House of Dragon here. All expected around September, October. Definitely some cool sets here. Moving on to Holiday and Hanukkah pops. On the left there, we have the Grinch there featuring two different two packs. One is a flocked Amazon exclusive. And then we also do have a Grinch coming out of the chimney pop deluxe. Now on the right side there, we have a couple pocket pops for the holiday themed, as well as a happy Hanukkah stitch set and stitch with a dreidel pop. Next up for Godzilla fans, we had a full new Godzilla 70th anniversary set. This featured Godzilla 1984, 99, Shin Godzilla, Godzilla 1984 Chase, and then 1954 Godzilla, where it does have a 10 inch variation. And that set did come with a couple different exclusives, like our first Ghidorah, Mecha King Ghidorah, over at GameStop, available now. 
Then we had Godzilla 1954 and Gigan there as a Funko Shop exclusive. So Ghidorah did go live on GameStop. However, Godzilla and Gigan have not yet. And finally, we did have a Mothra versus Godzilla movie poster cover, as well as some mystery minis. Next up for Jujutsu Kaisen fans, we had a brand new mystery mini set of 12 different variations there. Definitely some cool characters here, and you can pre-order these if you want to try to grab the whole set. For Demon Slayer fans, we had five new pops, including Tanjiro, Nezuko Advanced Demon Form, Gyotaro, finally another demon, as well as Tengen Seated, and then a moment featuring Tengen versus Gyotaro. Now, we were expected to see an exclusive in this set, which was Gyotaro with his uh, blood attack and his blood sickles. However, it looks like that one was delayed for the time being, so stay tuned on that. And next month, we should be seeing Daki in her demon form as a deluxe pop. For Bleach fans, we had six new pops, including Uryu with a glow chase variation, Kimpachi, Kon, Byakia, and Sosuke Aizen. So in this set, we were also supposed to see a couple different exclusives, but they ended up being delayed too until next month. Now this included Dongai Ichigo, as well as White Ichigo, also known as Sangetsu. Then we had Kimpachi, a variation with uh, Yachiru. And finally, Rukia stepping on Kone, which we did get a first look at that pop. Not sure why there were delays on these. These would have been really nice to see announced with those common pops, but we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Next up, a couple releases over at Hot Topic. We did have the Goku Ultra Instinct pop available now on their website, I believe still discounted if you do want to grab it. And then we also had the Hot Topic exclusive patchwork of Batman and the Joker. Over on the Funko shop, we did have a new Olympics pop here, which was Team USA Flavor Flav. This is expected to release over in December on December 12th, and you can pre-order it now through August 16th. After that, you won't be able to get this one anymore. And our final update is a brand new Diablo 4 exclusive of the Treasure Goblin. So basically the common painted all gold there. And this is a Blizzard Store exclusive, which you can grab on their website. As you can see, you guys, tons of crazy things released this week. I do hope all the videos this week were helpful to you, and I hope you were able to snag all the pre-orders you did need. Again, one more quick reminder, if you need to grab anything new, check out the links down below. Low. But let me know what you guys picked up this week. How much money did you spend? Because I'm sure it was a lot. It's been crazy, especially for anime fans. I mean, Bleach, One Piece, and Demon Slayer, all fantastic sets. And it was literally worth buying almost every single pop in each set. They went nuts this week. Then Godzilla was huge too for those fans. We haven't seen any crazy classic pops like that outside of the movie ones we did get. So yeah, it's been an intense week and I apologize for the million post updates, but there's so much that was going on. Nonetheless though, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do want to end off the video by saying a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. That's good rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.